gonna get spoiled. Oh, it's a monster. What's wrong with this day? Come on. Hey guys, this is Marcos Vidalis and I welcome you to my Rocks and Roads videos. Rocks and Roads is a new Savage Gear vlog filmed on the rocks of the Mediterranean Sea. Most of the times I fish alone, like a lonely wolf. Other times I fish with other pros of Savage Gear. I always focus on saltwater predators of the Mediterranean Sea. If you are interested to in that, you should follow these videos. Yeah. Another day working. Okay, let's start. It's the first day and always first days are a bit confusing because uh, you have to pack the bags exactly as they should be and you really don't know what to expect the first day. <sighs> Drugs. <laughs> of course. Not a snow powder, but magnesium. We really need magnesium in our fishing days. And I will tell you, minerals that we need through the day. Yes, magnesium is number one. The mineral that will eliminate the cramps during fishing. So, yes, guys, one day we're going to have a very specific short video about that, but Remember that when you go for uh, days of continuous fishing, yes, you need every day a big dose of magnesium if you want to avoid cramps and you want your muscles to uh, work properly through the day. Ready? Let's go. And here comes dinner. Maybe they know the best place for fishing. Let's see. Oh, these two are very horny. Nope. I guess I have to find it myself. Like always, nobody tells good fishing spots in these days. Okay, I'm finally here. It's a sunny day. I didn't expect it to be so sunny and actually it's uh, warm, 23 degrees in uh, mid-November. Uh, I will camp here, I will fish around this area if you can see. It's windy from behind, here is calm. To be honest I don't have uh, many expectations uh, here in the calm uh, area. But sometimes bait fish uh, find refuge here, so maybe you ha can have a strike. But then I will go from behind. <laughs> I will try also in the foam. Yeah, because uh, in general, uh, foam and uh, swell and uh, waves are uh, really suppressing the fish uh, reluctance and they make them uh, much easier to strike. I will start with something that uh, looks very natural and casts really far. The place is deep, around uh, 30 meters. Let's see if something good is uh, near the bottom. So I will going to try Cast Hacker. The uh, Go Sardine color, the 63 gram. Yeah, I think it's a very good choice with these conditions and sun. Let's see. Whoa! Oh. 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 
a small bara. Whoa. Hello, small bara. Hmm. Stay still. Stay still. Come on. Baracudino. It's a start. At least. So guys, I tried around the area. Not many things happen. One more strike. Uh, not very active. So I wanna try. I wanna go and try to the rough area. Well, uh, I have uh, all my things down here. I will keep it as a camp, and I will just take some with me to search around. This is a very nice uh, trick when you arrive to an area and you really don't wanna carry all the things on every step you do and you want to, in to investigate, you just, you can take a roll bag like this, like a Savage Gear uh, roll bag, put inside some jigs, uh, fluorocarbon, uh, some lures, very few things, just to be light and move uh, fast uh, all around. These moving rocks are super dangerous because they surprise you and you might fall like a sack of potatoes. Here we can start to see the foam. I'm going to, because it's a bit shallow and then drops fast, it's a very good uh, hunting ground, so I'm going to put a, a deep walker, a 70 gram uh, deep walker. It's perfect for this job. I won't allow it to go very near the bottom, just I will allow it to go 10 meters down. And uh, let's see what happens. Walker. No. Come on. No, I don't want to get spooled. Come on. No tattoo now on this. Ah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a monster! Ha. Oh, second run! Look how nice the road performs! Come on! Stop! Stop! Oh! I'm... Whoa! Ha! Ha! Of course! <laughs> Not possible for sure. Ha, tuna in the shallows. Ha, what are the chances, huh? <laughs> Look. But the reel performed very nice, eh? You see? <laughs> wow, one o'clock. And I still don't have a, a decent catch. Tuna doesn't count. Time for a energy drink. 
uh, and uh, continue with more uh, heavy tackle because that's what I have uh, with me. a good fish what happened you see guys it's the day they are really not active I mean uh, allure with two treble hooks two treble hooks and it didn't get uh, probably just pushed with a face to push it away there are days that fish are very very lazy yeah Because it's a shitty day, doesn't give me the right to keep this small grouper. I would expect uh, something bigger, but this is fishing. Let's see what else we can do. Okay. Hmm. Another one from the neck. Come on, it's nice. Huh? At least we enjoy some strikes. <laughs> the barracudas are very, very inactive today. I really don't know. Maybe tunas uh, or uh, just the day, but in general, fish are not very, very active. Uh, and if you saw, the last grouper was. Uh, from the neck not from the mouth they are really these days are mm, but these days guys that's the important thing these days a sinking pencil can give you a strike because they are much uh, much more slower in action uh, strong action uh, realistic shape uh, they give time to the fish even to go just to push away and the two trebles mm, to travels guys anyway let's see come on
I tried many times with jigs, as you just saw. Not a single touch. No! Today, fish are more for sinking pencils. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I will put the fast sinking model, the 73 grams, the Sayoris color, because it's a solid color. And now that the sun start to fall, something more flashy could be better. Let's see. It reacts uh, maybe a bara. No, come on, what's wrong? What a strike to enjoy. I mean something better but the, the success is that we make the fish strike we make them strike guys okay Wah. Another! Come on! No! <laughs> Why? Oh, look at the bite, guys! Look at the bite! I, <laughs> I felt uh, that something... Uh, you see? Look at the bite mark! Let me check if this is... No, it's not! You see the bite mark? Look! Something attacked it! Whoa! Come on, I want to get a nice fish also! Mm. Wee! Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Finally! Finally! Yes! No! 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 <laughs> you see? <laughs> Why? One nice fish! One nice fish! Come on! One nice fish! I had the chance! For one, one night, one nice fish. And uh, no, no, it's just the day. <laughs> I wanna jump in the rocks. I wanna jump in the rocks and uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> it happened many times in the past. <laughs> I'm get used to that. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it's part of the game. Not my game, but yes, it's part of the game. <laughs> Come on! Uh. Ah! This is... A, this looks like a bara, guys. If it's not a bara... But it looks like a bara. Yes. Whoppa. The fact that it attacked the tail, as you can see, means that the fish are very, very inactive. You see?
So here is the question. If you were in my position, tell me, would you enjoy that fishing that still uh, has uh, not a nice catch like you have used me to? Or uh, no, this is not the this is not the meaning. Please uh, comment now. That was all, guys. That was all. A full day of fishing. Uh, something like uh, I started at uh, today a bit late. I started at uh, 10 o'clock. Finished now at uh, five. That's it. Anyway, uh, seven hours of full fishing. And that was the whole uh, deal. I had the chance to get a nice fish, and I'm not talking about the tuna. There was no chance to get this monster uh, with a light eagle. But the, the grouper that hit me was a, a nice fish. Eventually, it spitted. I got uh, four small groupers and two barracudas. I had fun eventually. It was for me. It was a satisfying day. Now I'm going to check your comments what you voted for. Guys, thank you very much for watching Rocks and Rods. Subscribe so you won't miss all the other cool stuff that are about to come. Always on the rocks, always under uh, harsh conditions. Nothing is free, but we have the will to make it ours. So stay tuned. Thank you.